video video to explain the different finishes on MAC eyeshadows. Now I've always been kind of confused because when I first started doing MAC it's had the different things and it was like oh matte squared, uh, Velux pearl and all that jazz and I'm like what does that mean exactly? And so I did some research and now that I've been collecting MAC eyeshadows for a little while now I have a lot more ideas what they mean and now I can see the differences. So now that way you don't have to be confused like I was, I have a video to explain all of them for you. So let's just get started. We're going to start with a frost first. This is called Steamy and this is a frost. A frost is an iridescent shine that adds a highlight and it adds a highlight and quality to any color. So let me go ahead and swatch that for you. That's what it looks like. Now a frost is kind of like a more sheer color. That's the frost right there and that's steamy. So I should probably grab baby wipes. I feel like I'm gonna be needing them. Okay, and just so you know, there are nine different kinds of uh, finishes to MAC eyeshadows. The next one is Lester. This is in Swimming and it's a smoothly uh, pearlized, it's intensely frosted with a deluxe ultra fine conditioned finish. So, go ahead and swatch it. Now, the Lester's have a lot more shimmer, like they actually have like little things of glitter. So that's the Lester right there. It actually has glitter in it, so if, if you want to a shimmer but not glitter, use a frost, but if you want glitter, Lester's your thing. Okay, the next one is matte. Um, a matte is a high color payoff in a no shine matte finish. So, this is in Meet the Fleet, which is kind of a purpley blue, kind of indigo. This is from the Naughty Nautical collection. So go ahead and swatch that for you. So as you can see, it's got absolutely no shimmer, but it's a very intensely pigmented color. So that's great. Mattes usually have a harder time blending than shimmers or frosts. So just keep that in mind. All right, the next one is satin. This is in Juxt. And a satin is a pure color in a satin style finish. Provides a soft, subtle, non-frost, light refractive sheen. So there's no glitter in it, but it's kind of shimmery and it kind of looks kind of like plasticky almost. Like it feels like the sun's gleaming off of it all by itself. So that's it right there. And this is in Jux, so it's a nice soft color. I like satins, those are really nice for subtle, springy looks. I love using satin pastels. Right, the next one is a Velux. And this one I have in Melton Mauve. I depotted it, but I didn't have a palette for it at the time. This is when I was practicing. This is actually my first uh, eyeshadow. This is in Melton Mauve, and it is a Velux, which is a super fine texture, pigment rich, and very luxe. Uh, supple to, to apply silky smooth matte finish so it's a lot softer it's like a super soft eyeshadow it comes out matte but it's the texture it blends beautifully flux right here and this is a melted mop and it just even just touching it it just got this nice soft silky feel to it and Velux just feels like it should be soft Velux. Alright, um, Velux Pearl, this is in Henna, right here, and a Velux Pearl is a vibrant velvety soft with a metallic shimmer. Velux is a formula, formula overlaid with high shine pearl. So these have a lot of shine to them, so here you go, it's like almost a metallic-y finish. So, well it is a metallic -y finish. So here you are, right here. And as you can see, it's got a nice shine to it. All right, three more. Um, velvet, and this is probably one of my all-time favorite colors here. It's Beauty Marked, which is a velvet, and is a soft look finish with a high color intensity. It has a plush, velvety look and feel. So when you rub your finger over it, it feels like velvet, and it's very pigmented. And as you see, it's extremely pigmented. It's high color intensity. And it just kind of fades out. It kind of looks like velvet. Like if I had to give velvet a color, it's just, 
it's very smooth looking, soft. All right, matte squared colors. This is in newly minted and this is a matte squared, which is an intense opaque matte finish with rich color payoff. So these are generally a little bit more pigmented than the matte, plain mattes. So look how pigmented that is. And as you can tell, it's very, very, very pigmented. These are the colors that if you're doing a vibrant look. I mean, just look at that. That's such a crazy color. Okay. And finally, the last kind is Star Flash, which is a creamy, highly metallic finish. And when you rub your finger over it, it feels kind of like it's almost like a cream, but it's still a powder. Let me go ahead and swatch that for you right here. And it's very metallic-y. Again, it looks like gold. So, yes. And there you go. That would be the different finishes on the MAC eyeshadows. And here they all are. So, I'm going to have a blog post over there. Now i got to try to wipe it all off. <laughs> off, 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 off. Haha, ha. baby wipes to the rescue. Okay, and yes. So I hope that helps now that you kind of know what they are and what the different finish to expect. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and let me know. So, bye guys. <laughs>